We bring you a special story from the land of football fever, Shiv. I really love these stories and we're going to continue to bring you these amazing stories. This is one about Barbosa who continues to be haunted, the legendary goalkeeper on that shocking defeat for Brazil the last time they hosted the World Cup way back in 1950. has been etched in Brazil's footballing history. Was well organized in both Sao Paulo and it was the tragedy of Maracana. It was the year when Brazil lost its first World Cup, Uruguay beating them 2-1, especially when they looked all set to win it in front of a huge home crowd. A memory that Brazilians never want to remember. And the man blamed for this loss, goalkeeper Moacir Barbosa, is no more. He became a villain for the people of Brazil. In 2000, in an interview shortly before his death, he made an emotional speech reaching out to the people and requesting them to not blame him for something that is not his fault. The tournament was held in South America as no one else wanted it. Only 13 countries turned up. The tournament's last game saw Brazil and Uruguay engaged for the right to call themselves world champions. This was the last match of a final group. After an easy passage, they were Brazilians the took the lead Brazil in the first minute of second half. But Gigiar ruined Barbosa's life forever, scoring two goals for Uruguay. Gigia beat Barbosa at his near post, and Uruguay were leading by two goals to one. Brazilians still curse and repent that fateful match wherein they lost the finals to Uruguay. All our players were crying with happiness. Heart failure caused Moacir Barbosa to die in 2000, age 79. Some say it was a broken heart that killed him. It will be a perfect salute to the man who lived his life being scarred if Brazil wins the World Cup this time. Sports Bureau, headlines today.